showers of blessings today and always. A tip for parenting. Many a times I have seen mostly young boys stoning dogs, chasing after cats, or hurting little creatures for no reason at all, but just for the simple pleasure of seeing them in play. I read a story Agra Aratil Pune by Jay Gandhi. I'm sure all of you would have at least heard about that author, a phenomenal author. And this story carried a very beautiful and profound message. It's about this boy who has, who takes pleasure in uh, torturing and causing pain to little, little creatures around him. So every creature at the sight of him used to run. Except there was one cat that always looked at him as if to defy him. One day, the cat had spilt a pot of milk in a house and it had run away. The lady of the house is highly upset and she calls out to this little boy and tells him, you please get the cat. So the man of the house says, see, it is a sin to kill a cat. So please don't kill it. You just catch it and just go and let, let it somewhere very far away. So the lady tells the little boy, do not kill the cat, but somehow get rid of it. So the boy says, fine, I will not, I will not uh, kill the cat. So he somehow manages to catch it in a sack. And he takes the sack with the, with the cat inside to the butcher who lives on the outskirts of that town. He used to watch that butcher with much admiration, seeing his huge, you know, the chopper stained with blood. And uh, he used to watch him. So he thought the best thing is to take the cat to him and tell him to butcher it. So the boy takes the cat to the butcher and he hands it to him and he says, I want you to kill this cat. The first thing the butcher will ask him, why do you want to eat it? So the boy says, no, I don't want to eat it. I just want you to kill it. So the butcher said, why? Why do you need to kill something? So the boy says, well, why do you have so many questions to ask me? Because you seem to be uh, butchering goats day after day. So the butcher looks at him and says, well, the goats that I kill, it is for food for so many and the money I get out of that feeds my family. So there is a reason behind why I do something like that, why I have a profession like that. But you want me to kill this cat just for the sake of killing. So the boy said, no, no, this cat is very naughty. And we cannot bear all the things that it does. So you please kill it. So the butcher smiles, looks at the little boy and says, Aren't you naughty? So should I kill you for that? The boy is a bit taken aback. And then he says, No, I don't want to argue. I just want you to kill it. Playfully, you just kill it. So the butcher says, he takes the sack from him, opens it out and lets the cat out and says, you don't playfully kill anything. Because if you start killing for the pleasure of it or just for the game of it, as you grow up, it may lead to things which you will be surprised to find yourself doing. And he also tells the boy, 
cats will be after things will be out to steal milk so you tell that lady of the house to keep the kitchen doors locked so that the cats do not get in and he sends the boy away yes parents at times i do see children taking great pleasure in hurting animals it may not look so serious now and you may have even overlooked such incidents or you may have even said my 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 what a brave boy but be careful be careful of what you are encouraging in a child what starts as a game what starts as a play may not turn out to be that way take care